We got it rotted. They say we cut it and uh, there it is. It's running, it's driving. So we're gonna load it in the trailer. Needs a little bit more work on the tune. We just got a startup tune on it. But the parts are in there. The truck's moving on its own power and it's ready for LS Fest Texas. This is our 86 C10 that we did an LT swap in last week for the show, and we are here at LS Fest Texas 2024. So we bought this truck about 35 days ago. We got into the shop, got it tore out, got the new motor in, got all our goodies on it, got the BTR cam in there with the valve springs, did a couple other DOD delete things, and then we slapped it in here and brought it to the show. We can have done this without your great products. We have your state tree truck in here, your valve springs, head gaskets, and then of course, both of our products doing the DOD delete. Match made in heaven. <laughs> yep. ICT billet and BTR is only one way to fly. Only way to go. So we go to these events, that way we can engage with our customers and see all their beautiful smiles and see what they're working on, you know, and help them out on their projects so we can make more parts for them and make it a lot easier for their swap. We come out to LS Fest so we can talk to our customers face to face so they know who they're talking to on the phone. They have a, a more personal communication with our sales team. So the steps that got us to this point were we got the swap done in the truck, we successfully made it out to LS Fest Texas, which the crowd loved and everybody loved seeing the truck out there, uh, seeing how nice it looked and how well it runs. And then we had the car show and the car show was a success, had tons of people out and everybody really liked the truck and liked seeing all of our parts on it and it looks really great. So now that everybody has seen the swab, they can see how easy it is to do. It's like an LS engine. It's not this daunting, crazy thing of like doing this wild engine. It's like an LS engine. It's super easy to put in there and we have all the parts to do it. The fact that you can buy a truck and have a new motor in it in less than 30 days, I think is an accomplishment in itself, really. So the funniest mishap that we had building the C10 was when we were taking the engine part and the hose shot off of it and just like put coolant everywhere because we didn't have our suction tank or the drain tank over there then. So it just made this huge mess and we have like kitty litter covering the whole dang shop. And yeah, we probably use like two bags of kitty litter to clean all that mess up. So it was kind of a mess and looking forward to not doing that again. So what's next for ICT Billet is, you guys have seen in the past our green Jeep. We haven't forgot about it. We do have it and we're about to start working on that. We have our first mounts ready to start testing in it. So we're gonna have that built and make sure you stay tuned because we have a lot of cool projects we're working on and scans and a bunch of cool stuff. So stick with us. Thanks for watching our C10 swap series. We hope you enjoyed it. Keep the action going with your very own ICT Billet Truck Appreciation shirt. Grab one today in our store.